Yo, what is going on gamers? Today we got a lot of Roblox news to go over. A Roblox clone is now going ahead and offering UGC creators a ton of money to go over to their site. Pet Simulator X refunded their $200,000 NFT program. Every single one of these NFTs cost $10,000 and there was 20 of these minted. And finally, we have Chiseled. He got scammed out of 100,000 Robux. Oh my goodness. A ton of Roblox news to go over today, but guys, before we get into any of that, I'm a new channel. Make sure you're subscribed. I started like a month ago, and we're trying to get 30k by the end of this month. So if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. But anyways, let's just get straight into today's news. So the very first thing I wanted to talk about is this image Chase Rooney posted. I thought this was a rendering. I didn't think this was actually on Roblox. This is a real UGC item. It's actually off sale now, but it used to be on sale, bro. The, I, I like I said, the Minecraft versus Roblox debate is over. You can literally be Minecraft in Roblox, but can you be Roblox in Minecraft? No, you can't. But dude, I swear, I saw this image and I just thought it was like some meme. I didn't think this was actually on Roblox, but yeah, you're, you're able to make your avatar now look like this in Roblox. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine if like UGC and Arthro came out like at the exact same time? You remember how much people were raging about Arthro? Could you imagine them also being raging that you can do this in Roblox? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that, that's pretty goofy but guys we got even more goofy news to talk about today like another platform trying to get roblox developers to switch to their site which is like kind of mind-boggling but uh this will never work because they're just a roblox ripoff oh, okay i, I just want to say this before i actually get into it i've never understand these like ripoff sites like for instance gilded I, like gilded will never take off because it's just a discord clone same with this site it, it's literally just a roblox ripoff do you guys remember that fortnite roblox ripoff off called core that that never took off either but i don't know i those are little goofy sites but uh this site uh let me let me get the name it had like a really wacky name zepto yo hey who wants to get on zepto right now zepto bismol bro this is legitimately the worst name for a site i've ever heard like just call your site pepto bismol at that point just, just literally call it that but uh pepto bismol has literally been sending messages to uh roblox developers actually ugc creators trying to get them to switch to their site instead of being on roblox now i'm not gonna read this full message because i don't really care all that much but just to summarize it to you guys pretty much what they're saying is that roblox they have a horrible rev share which pretty much means roblox takes a massive cut from creators which is totally true roblox goes ahead and gives you about 20 percent of all of the earnings you make on roblox which is really scummy and it's not good at all but you also have to justify the cost of having moderation servers all of that sort of stuff but even with that all factored in places like steam and nintendo they actually take 30 percent of your revenue rather than just giving you 20 percent of your revenue but even those rev share takes are looked down upon and they rightfully are these people made the game steam and nintendo didn't but pepto bismol's big hook is rather than giving you 20 percent of your revenue they'll actually give you 50 percent like bro that, that's just a big joke like nobody's gonna switch to your platform nobody uses your platform at that point i'm just gonna go play brick planet you know i don't know this is just goofy i I've read that they go ahead and bloat their player statistics and they're like lying about certain stuff so i don't really know all that much about them but it, it the whole thing seems pretty goofy i have no idea what developer would want to switch to this platform but i mean hey if you want to switch to pepto bismol be my guest you know but i think i want to get on to the next story this one's kind of sad i ain't gonna lie I, I feel bad for chiseled uh chiseled got scammed out of a hundred thousand robux oh my goodness that, that really just sucks but uh so pretty Pretty much what happened is he was doing a tournament over on this game called starving artist and whoever won would get some robux and uh the winner was supposed to get 10,000 robux but when chiseled went ahead and tried to buy it he wasn't paying attention or something and didn't realize it was a hundred thousand robux now i don't think chiseled is 100 percent at fault i this dude was obviously trying to rip him off like he he's the person to blame here don't don't go send any harassment or anything to him by the way but i definitely think it's worth mentioning there's no commas like in the robux 
Roblox thing. Like, it is really hard to differentiate one zero from an extra zero on the end. Like, yeah, okay, he should have obviously looked a little bit more, especially with the transaction like that. But, like, dude, it is so easy to just add an extra zero and that 10,000 becomes 100,000. The fact that there aren't commas on Roblox purchases is really, really bad. And situations like this happen. Like, I don't know. I'd like to hear your guys' opinions on that. But, like, dude, it is so hard to differentiate. It's literally just an extra zero on then. That's such an easy thing to miss. Uh, commas would make it so you could instantly spot something like that. We've actually seen similar situations happen to other YouTubers too, like Olix. He actually got ripped off of 100k by another person doing a similar trick to what happened to Chiseled. The people doing this though, like, you're pretty messed up. Like, you're literally just stealing someone else's money. Like, that that's pretty much what you're doing. And Roblox is so bad with their support. You know, they, they don't even care. They won't even respond to this stuff because you made the purchase, you know? it It's just sucky. The whole situation sucks. And I feel bad for these YouTubers that stuff like this keeps happening to them. You know, they're being generous and nice and you're just taking advantage of it i don't know that, that's just my thoughts on this situation but guys we should get on to our last story of the day which is something really interesting so we all know pet simulator they launched an nft like about a year ago and this nft was a huge disaster like everyone was crapping on them and it got so bad that roblox finally had to intervene they were like no this isn't okay because the nft would go ahead and unlock a virtual pet inside of pet simulator x so that's a big no no, that breaks the rules of Roblox, and Roblox had to intervene and get that removed. But pretty much what Big Games has been doing over the last year or so, they've been trying to figure out how they can sell their virtual pets for US dollars. And we've seen that recently with the Titanic pet. We all know that pet has probably cost like 25 bucks to manufacture, but they're selling it for $250 only because there's a code that comes with the plushie, and that code unlocks a pet that literally costs thousands and thousands of US dollars to go ahead and unbox. But after that whole NFT thing like settled down because that was a while back that was about a year ago They decided to refund all of the owners who bought the NFT only the current owners though Not anybody who previously owned it that might have lost money on it They don't get a refund but the people that currently own it they got their monies back Roblox RTC wrote Pet Simulator X recently discontinued their NFT project claiming owners have received full refunds The full amount repaid remains unclear after the price of ETH has dropped by almost 60% since since the project's launch in November 2021. Yeah, so I'm also interested in that. So ETH has dropped by 60% since this project was launched. Are they going to get a refund back in ETH? Or are they going to get a refund back in USD? How is this even going to work? I don't know, man. It's pretty much a universally agreed on take that Preston's a really greedy dev. And something like this, it's not shocking. He just wants to sell his virtual pets for hundreds and hundreds of US dollars. But honestly, it is so funny that he actually ended up discontinuing the nfts like that that's just great but guys i want to hear your guys thoughts on this pet simulator x situation let me know would you guys think preston is greedy or not and also just tell me your thoughts on everything we talked about today because we had a lot of news to talk about but guys i think we're wrapping up towards the end of today's video if you like today's video make sure you go down below smash that subscribe button but anyways guys we're gonna wrap up today's video here bye everyone